So, vegetable oils and hexane. Hexane and other organic mm, solvents are used to extract the oil from seeds in order to make an edible product. And it's often claimed by alternative health people who don't understand the science about this very well that the hexane in vegetable oils poses some sort of health risk to humans. Here's the thing. Hexane is very volatile. It immediately comes off the top of the uh, vegetable oil solution. Um, it's incredibly volatile, so uh, it immediately evaporates. Since the 1930s, scientists have determined that there's no substantial danger of hexane in these products to humans. <clears throat> this has been studied for about 100 years at this point. The toxicity is very low, so it's about 49 milliliters per kilogram in rats. So in order to get to a, um, a toxic dose in half the rats, they need about 49 milliliters per kilogram. Well, if you look at that in humans, if that's the same LD50 in humans, and most likely it's a very similar LD50 in humans. Of course, we can't do those experiments in humans because in order to do those experiments, you actually actually have to dose the rats, progressively increasing doses, and then see which dose kills half the rats, and that's the LD50. But if you extra extrapolate this to humans, that would be about uh, 49, so let's get 80 kilogram human, so 49 times 80 is about 500, or sorry, about 400, about 400. So about 400 milliliters of hexane would be required to kill half of all humans. It's half a liter of hexane, it's a lot. Well, it turns out that the concentration of hexane in mm, vegetable is about 0.8 milligrams per kilogram of oil. So if you do the calculation, uh, that would mean that it would require about 40,000 liters of canola oil to reach the LD50 dose per kilogram of body weight. And so if you had a 100 kilogram human, that would be about 4 million liters, and that would have a 50% chance of killing a 100, 100 kilogram human. This would fill up more than 100 swimming pools. So yes, uh, if you drink more than 100 swimming pools worth of vegetable oil, then you have a chance of dying from vegetable oils. It turns out if you just take a, um, a table a tablespoon, that's that's thousands and thousands of folds less. Uh, it's been studied in humans. It's been studied in animals. There's absolutely no detectable risk as a result of it. And the interesting thing is, is that hexane from foods and vegetables in particular only counts for about 2% of total hexane exposure per day. Most of that exposure, 98% is from gasoline. Thanks for watching.